new technology gives AI human-like eyes. Researchers at the University of Central Florida have built a device for artificial intelligence that replicates the retina of the eye. The research may result in cutting-edge AI that can identify what it sees right away, such as automated descriptions of photos captured with a camera or a phone. The technology could also be used in robots and self-driving vehicles. The technology, which is described in a recent study published in the journal ACS Nano, also performs better than the eye in terms of the range of wavelengths it can perceive, from ultraviolet to visible light and on to the infrared spectrum. Its ability to combine three different operations into one further contributes to its uniqueness. Currently available intelligent image technology, such as that found in self-driving cars, needs separate data processing, memorization, and sensing. By integrating all three procedures into one, the device is much faster than existing technology. With hundreds of the devices fitting on a one-inch wide chip, the technology is also quite compact. The researchers believe it will change the way artificial intelligence is realized by having the capacity to do in sensor computing using a single device on one small platform. The technology expands upon previous work by the research team that created brain-like devices that can enable AI to work in remote regions and space. They had devices behaving like synapses of the human brain, but they were not feeding them the image directly. By adding image sensing ability to them, they have synapse-like devices that act like smart pixels in a camera by sensing, processing, and recognizing images simultaneously. For self-driving vehicles, the versatility of the device will allow for safer driving in a range of conditions, including at night. There is currently no other device which can operate simultaneously in ultraviolet range, visible wavelength, and infrared wavelength. Key to the technology is the engineering of nanoscale surfaces made of molybdenum disulfide and platinum didoloride to allow for multi-wavelength sensing and memory. The researchers tested the device's accuracy by having it sense and recognize a mixed wavelength image of an ultraviolet number 3 and an infrared part that is the mirror image of the digit placed together to form an 8. They demonstrated that the technology could discern the patterns and identify them both as a 3 in ultraviolet and an 8 in infrared. They are currently able to achieve 70 to 80 percent accuracy which means there's very good chance that they can be realized in hardware and could be available to the consumer market within the next 5 to 10 years. NVIDIA Code, unified programming platform adopted by communities global leaders to enable quantum accelerated artificial intelligence, high-performance computing, health, and finance applications. The NVIDIA Quantum Optimized Device Architecture or CODA, aims to make quantum computing more accessible by creating a coherent hybrid quantum classical programming model. CODA is an open, unified environment for some of today's most powerful computers and quantum processors, improving scientific productivity and enabling greater scale in quantum research. High-performance computing and AI domain experts can use it to easily add quantum computing to existing applications leveraging both today's quantum processors as well as simulated future quantum machines using NVIDIA DGX systems and a large installed base of NVIDIA GPU available in scientific supercomputing centers and public clouds. Organizations are already using NVIDIA GPU and software to develop individual quantum circuits. With CODA, developers can build complete quantum applications simulated with NVIDIA KuQuantum on GPU-accelerated supercomputers. Today, at the Q2B conference in Tokyo, NVIDIA announced CODA collaborations with quantum hardware providers IQM Quantum Computers, Pascal, Quantinuum, Quantum Brilliance, and Zenodu. It will collaborate with software providers QC Ware and Zapata Computing. It will collaborate with supercomputing centers including Verstrunzentrum Julik, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, and Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Quantinuum is partnering with NVIDIA to enable users of Quantinuum's H-series quantum processors, powered by Honeywell, to program and develop the next generation of hybrid quantum classical applications with CODA. These hybrid quantum classical capabilities developed by NVIDIA will enable high-performance computing to accelerate existing applications by providing an efficient way to program quantum and classical resources in a consolidated environment. A deformable pump gives soft robots a heart. 
A collaboration between Cornell researchers and a U.S. Army Research Laboratory has leveraged hydrodynamic and magnetic forces to drive a rubbery, deformable pump that can provide soft robots with a circulatory system, in effect mimicking the biology of animals. The researchers say these distributed soft pumps operate much more like human hearts and the arteries from which the blood is delivered. While there was previously robot blood published from the same group of researchers, they say the deformable pump will make more lifelike machines. Shepard's Organic Robotics Lab has previously used soft material composites to design everything from stretchable sensor, skin to combustion-driven braille displays and clothing that monitors athletic performance, plus a menagerie of soft robots that can walk and crawl and swim and sweat. Many of the lab's creations could have practical applications in the fields of patient care and rehabilitation. Like animals, soft robots need a circulatory system to store energy and power their appendages and movements to complete complex tasks. The new elastomeric pump consists of a soft silicone tube fitted with coils of wire, known as solenoids, which are spaced around its exterior. Gaps between the coils allow the tube to bend and stretch. Inside the tube is a solid core magnet surrounded by magnetorheological fluid, which is a fluid that stiffens when exposed to a magnetic field, which keeps the core centered and creates a crucial seal. Depending on how the magnetic field is applied, the core magnet can be moved back and forth, much like a floating piston, to push fluids forward with continuous force and without jamming. The researchers conducted an experiment to demonstrate that the pump system can maintain a continuous performance under large deformations, and they tracked the performance parameters so future iterations can be custom-tailored for different types of robots. AI diagnoses birth defects in fetal ultrasound images In a new proof-of-concept study at the University of Ottawa's Faculty of Medicine, Researchers are using a unique artificial intelligence-based deep learning model as an assistive tool for the rapid and accurate reading of ultrasound images. The goal of the team's study was to demonstrate the potential for deep learning architecture to support early and reliable identification of cystic hygroma from first trimester ultrasound scans. Cystic hygroma is an embryonic condition that causes the lymphatic vascular system to develop abnormally. It's a rare and potentially life-threatening disorder that leads to fluid swelling around the head and neck. The research group demonstrated that in the field of ultrasound, they were able to use the deep learning approach for image classification and identification with a high sensitivity and specificity. They plan to apply it to other fetal anomalies generally identified by ultrasonography. Make sure to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell for the latest news in artificial intelligence, robotics, and brain-computer interface news, and thanks for watching.